Welcome back to another medical school vlog. I start off Monday with a much needed bacon and cheese sandwich before getting on with my hair. I like to do it in two plaits when it's not clean or when it's too fluffy or anything. To be fair, I wear it in two plaits pretty much almost every day unless it's half up half down which is every other day. I then got on with packing my bag for university so I made sure I had my purse and my laptop, my iPad, my chargers, my gym clothes because I go straight to the gym after university so it's very important to have some in my bag at all times. It's also important to make sure I've packed my lunch and my headphones because you need headphones to watch your lectures. I headed to the medical school where I got settled into the lecture theatre really early actually so this is the lecture theatre we normally sit in and we did four hours straight, then we had lunch and then three more hours in that lecture theatre. But over lunch we did manage to get some work done, so I did some flashcards for the lectures we watched that morning. I am trying to keep up with the flashcards throughout the semester. I think it's really important for me to do this as I go through the lectures. I am struggling to keep up with learning them during the semester because it is very time consuming as it is. So I'm starting a new Anki regime over the reading week, getting some learnt. And then when I return, I'll be able to do my my reviews and 10 new ones each day. After an amazing session at the gym, I headed home, showered and made my corn curry and naan bread. Now I promise you, even though it looks like that, it tasted amazing. It's just because I froze them and reheated them so it does get a little bit liquidier than normal. I then got on with putting away my more washing, which becomes a very... It always seems to end up a Monday night where I have loads of washing on my bed from Sunday that I haven't put away. So that's what I did on Monday. Realised I didn't have a lot of space. So... You'll see what I do next week to compensate for this lack of space, but I then headed off to sleep at a reasonable time, I think, ten past nine. I got a message the other day on Instagram about my morning routine, so here's my morning routine. I wake up to my alarm, turn the light on, stretch, get out of bed, get dressed, and go to medical school, and then get on with some studying. So Tuesday we had group work, so I watched some lectures that I needed to catch up on, and then got on with some group work. So this is my new M group, and we had a PAS session together. So we're just talking about ideas and coming up with things, and I'm writing it into the form of a nested list for our group work that day, before assigning each of the tasks and research so we can create a final product. We managed to finish today in an hour and a half, almost two hours, and it was really good to get that done so that I could get back on with some studying, which was very much needed. Oh, so we're at the microwave room. Um, and we got pro section today. Yeah, exciting. Mine's at two. Mine's at three. Yes. Learn that. Right. It's renal. <laughs> renal today. No, I thought it was IAH. Maybe it's both. I don't know. I heard something about ureters. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a flow. Maybe it's ureters. Maybe we don't know. We'll find out. Yes. So we're going to go to pro section two to three and you're three to four. So I'll see you later. We can't film in pro section because of the Human Tissue Act. No looking at dead bodies for the internet. <laughs> um, but we got group work today as well. My group's finished. We're going to start in about an hour. An hour. So hopefully that gets yeah. done quick. So we're just doing that. And then we're microwave food as well. Like. I'm having four cheese ravioli. The perfect nice. week comes with ready meals rather than cooking. <laughs> After enjoying a lovely four cheese ravioli, I headed back up to the computer cluster and sat down with Andeep, who's the year group rep actually for our year group this year, but he's also in my M group and we get along really well. So we sat down and we did some work while my friends got on with their group projects and their pro sections because we all had different times of the day. It was really good to get through some catch up lectures, write some more flashcards before catching up with my friend Afreen and hearing about pro section how it had gone. But we did find out that it was indeed Ren and IIH in the pro section today. Also, I feel like mentioning at this point that my voice is sore during this voiceover, so if there's any bits that are a bit crinkly, it's because I have a sore throat and I have to get this out by tomorrow. So me and my housemate Alan just went to look at a couple houses and we picked the one so I've got a house for next year so it's just two of us in the house next year. 
because one of our housemates is moving for an international year hopefully hopefully for him um but yeah it's a really nice house and i'm very excited to show you guys it next year but that's not till july so that's i've got a house i'm about to tutor for an hour and then i'm gonna go to the gym long story short format here the tutoring session went really badly they didn't understand what i was teaching and it was not very fun so i made spaghetti bolognese and garlic bread and then had a little crying session because they were really stressing me out i slept really well and headed out to uni on wednesday morning it is 7 55 i'm gonna go and do my face and then i'm gonna go it's not gonna take me long to do my face maybe four or five minutes just to quickly throw things in my bag and get going. My hepatitis B second jab is at 9.45 today, so I'm going to get to the medical school, do some work, then wander around the corner to get that and go back to the medical school and continue with work. I've got a group session today. I'm having to miss my lecture because my hepatitis B is halfway through it. Um, but the university said that's fine. It just means I'm going to have to catch up the lecture on Friday, which is kind of annoying cause this perfect week is about staying up to date with lectures. But it is what it is. This is what the medical school wants us to do. Hepatitis B jabs let me take blood from patients and that's what we want, so hepatitis B it is. <laughs> I'm booked in for my third hepatitis B now, but that jab hurt a lot more than the last time. But I'm heading back to the medical school so I can study. And this is my new student ID that I like to pick up because I couldn't buy a new one. I made it back in time to do my in-group SGT, which was really good and really helpful. I love my IAH SGTs. I then got a wrap and a brownie from the Medcalf, which was extremely overpriced. Do not buy one. Although I really needed it, so it was nice. And then I got on with work in the second floor library with my friends Afreen and Umham. It was really good to get on with this and just bang out some lectures and some flashcards. But as you can tell, I was really drained and I was just not feeling it. So I kept taking breaks. I couldn't listen to the music whilst I was trying it. I then moved into my favourite study room to get on with tutoring again, which was really good. And I love tutoring this group. It's such a fun group. This is a topic that a lot of students struggle with and so it is a very common one for me to tutor. So I'm used to going back to basics and helping students understand it as we go through. Tutoring is a really big part of my week and a really big part of the way that I stay sane at university in regards to money and finances. And I love tutoring. It's very fulfilling and it might be the way that I am able to spend less of my student loan this year or pay bills. <laughs> I then moved back to the second floor library and got on with some more flashcards for the lectures I had done that day. I find it really hard to study in this library. I don't know why, I think it's the purple walls between everybody, but I do find it really hard to study because I just feel isolated from everyone. So after finishing these flashcards, I was done and I headed to the gym for a nice workout session. I'm in bed, it is... 25 past 10 and I'm gonna go to sleep. I've got work tomorrow morning at half past six. Half past six in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna try and get to sleep now. Kind of sucks. I headed to work where I managed to get some good old cleaning done before heading back to the medical school to get on with some more lectures. I did the pre-work for my in-person lectures that day, which was electrocardiograms. I also managed to make some flashcards for some lectures that I'd done a while ago and some SGTs, just to finish filling in those gaps. And I do still have some work to do with drugs and autonomic pharmacology for the heart but i think those tasks will be moving to reading week so come back to see if i managed to get everything caught up during reading week as well as learning some new flashcards i then went to an in-person lecture with my friends before we all headed to have lunch it was really nice to just have lunch with everyone and catch up on the week I just want to catch you guys up. I've just finished tutoring. It is half past three. I'm going to go and find somewhere to sit for half an hour because my anatomy practical is at four, I think. Yeah, my anatomy practical is four till six. So I'm going to go find somewhere to sit and run over the worksheet again and go to the anatomy practical. After the anatomy practical, I'm going to walk to the gym. It's cardio and ab day. And I'm going to go home and pack my bag for home because I'm going home tomorrow. And I'm going to see a friend tonight, so I'm not really going to do much work tonight either. Tomorrow I have three lectures and a small group teaching in person, as well as I'm tutoring. 
lovely qual lasagna and garlic bread for dinner, just something quick and easy so I could get done. Then Friday morning I headed with my packed bag to the medical school to get on some lectures. I have decided I like this spot in the library a little bit more than all the other spots, but this is still a iffy topic. I'm not sure where I like to study yet, and I'm finding it really hard to focus in the second floor library. But I got me some work, and the sun slowly moved around into the, my eyes. So I gradually sat back, but it was really good to get on with some much needed at work. I finished off all the lectures I had to do for the day, including pre-work and rewriting the notes before heading to the in-person lectures. Now these were really hard to keep up during the lectures and I ended up having to redo a lot of the notes after the session with my friend Omahan because we just needed to get on with it to be fair. So we had a nice little chill revision session together in the library before we headed to our final in-person lecture of the day which was 5 till 6 p.m. on Friday afternoon which I must say is the worst time to have an in-person lecture. But it was really good to spend some more time with Omahan because I hadn't seen her in a while. And then got on the coach home because I was going home for the weekend for my dad's birthday and this coach journey was awful and I will not be doing it again. I will get the train next time, 100%. Saturday morning, me and my brother headed to the local gym because unfortunately my gym group gym was shut down. I then went home and saw Merlin for the first time since I've been home and a lovely squirrel came right up to our back door which was really cute. We then went shopping and for some food with, at the White Rose Centre for my dad's birthday with my grandma. It was really nice to see everybody and catch up and have a lovely meal because I love Frankie and Benny's and don't get to go very often. But as you can tell, we ordered a lot of food. Even though the garlic bread hadn't arrived, we did want to film the food so we could get on with eating. It was amazing food. We then headed home where I saw my cat Puddles for the first time since I've been home because he was being a little poo and kept running outside when every time I saw him so I couldn't see him until Saturday probably but he is so cute and surprisingly he loves his desk chair but we did sell it. Then I went out with my friend Millie for a catch up and we went and got more pizza. Yes I did have two margaritas and two cheesy garlic bread pizzas that day but we also got dessert. Sunday morning I woke up early and watched the new Grey's Anatomy episode and planned out my next week of studying. I can tell you now that I did not manage to stick to that strict schedule, but we did enjoy planning, I guess. Now this is my dinner, we had giant Yorkshire puddings with casserole and we celebrate my dad's birthday so we had his birthday cake and we finished off the evening watching some TV together before my mum drove me home because I really didn't want to get the coach and she offered and it was really, really good to see them all. But now I'm driving back for my reading week. So come back next week to see how reading week goes. If you've liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.